Today, we'll talk about our resident battle cellist, Selena Tempest, the new transcendent debuting in the Echo Aria update. And if you don't want to miss future PGR guides and videos, don't forget to subscribe, and if you make any corrections or forget to mention something, it will be in the pinned comment down below. Alright, let's start the recital. Selena Tempest is a base S rank transcendent that deals primarily lightning damage and features AoE lightning attacks while performing her music. Very elegant. In this video, I'll cover her skills, passives, ascensions, playstyle, her build, weapons, and with pull and build recommendations. And I'll leave timestamps for each topic. And going through her kit, her basic attack string deals physical damage and melee range, and she can also dash to skip the beginning of the attack string and just start stabbing the enemy with her cello. Her kit E quickly deals lightning damage to a target, and as for her orbs, her red orb summons the power of Zeus and drops a lightning bolt on the enemy from range, dealing lightning damage. This is also her swap and attack. Her blue orb slightly pulls on enemies from range, dealing lightning damage, and her yellow orb dashes forward, dealing some lightning damage, and the attack cannot be interrupted, and it's a decent gap closer. And as for her core passive, basically any 3 orb or matrix ping will give a triad mark, indicated at the bottom of the screen, and the color of the triad will be based on the color of the orb that you pinged. After getting the triad mark from the 3 orb or matrix ping, ping the matching color orb will apply the concerto debuff onto the enemy, indicated by the red ring, and it deals lightning damage to them and reduces the enemy's damage for 8 seconds. But picking a different color orb than the triad mark will give the solo buff to Selena indicated by the blue ring around her, and this gives her a 20% damage buff for 8 seconds. And triggering will orbs after the triad 3 orb or matrix ping also gives a charge for her ultimate gauge, with the amount of charges depending on the amount of orbs pinged after the triad. So for example, if you ping 3 orbs after the triad mark, you'll get 3 charges. And her core passive ties nicely into her ultimate, so if you have enough energy and you've activated the core passive at least once, then you can enter her ultimate state which will light up the gauge. And in this form, Selena gains increased movement speed, damage reduction, solo damage buff, as well as an enhanced dodge. She also gains musical orbs based on the number of charges in the gauge previously, and tapping the basic attack or orbs will expend them, dealing lightning damage in an AoE. And Selena exits the ultimate when the timer indicated at the bottom of the screen runs out, or she's expended all the orbs. But be warned, it also randomizes your orbs on exit. And if this was way too dang for you to understand, the Smooth Brain TLDR for her core passive ultimate is to basically do different color 3 orb pings as often as possible, and then ult orbs go brrrr. And as for her leader passive, the team gets 10% increased lightning damage, and transcendence get an additional 5% attack. And going through her ascensions, at double S, she gets increased lightning damage, and the Concerto enemy debuff now resides as an AoE around Selena, like her solo damage buff, and triple S, triggering an orb after a triad 3 orb matrix ping, will proc both the solo damage buff and the Concerto enemy debuff, and at triple S+, plus, she gains increased lightning damage and ultimate damage. And as for my rank recommendations, S rank is usually enough investment for most players, but if you're Selena Simp and you have a ton of spare black cards, then you can aim for triple S. And as for her playstyle and rotation, in combat you ideally swap her in, perform the red orb swap and attack, and then use a red orb if possible for the concerto enemy debuff, and then pop any 3 orb ping followed by an opposite orb to get the solo self buff. And then finally, you finish the rotation with the ultimate and then you can swap off to the next transcendent for the transcendent swap buff. But most of the time in good battle you'll always have 3 orb pings, and often you'll be able to quickly matrix the orbs you'll need to fill the gauge, so it often comes down to spamming and matching 3 orb matrix pings and then a non-matching one. Basically, she's another transcendent, and they're mainly orbs go brrrr type characters if you haven't noticed. As for her build, she comes with her own 6 star memory set, but as far as resonances, attack on the top row and ultimate on the bottom row. Hypertune is also a low priority, but you can hypertune the bottom row first. Quickly running through her weapons, don't run her 4 star weapon. Her 5 star weapon for the majority of people is plenty enough, and her 6 star signature weapon, for most it's not worth the cost, but it does give Selena a nice quality of life in the form of orb rearrange and refund as well as increased lightning damage, but again it's not needed. And as for her weapon resonance, prioritize limit break and then overload signal. And as for our pull and build recommendations, if you've been playing since Anniversary, you may have 2500 Constructs tickets, which is enough for Selena's rate up banner, and if you skip near and don't have a fire team, and you already have Kamu and Chu, dropping a multi for her can be a good idea to flesh out another team for Norman War and Babel in the form of a transcendent team. Selena has good AoE and completes the team for now, but if you are very low on black cards, you can consider skipping Selena since she doesn't go away from the transcendent banner, she just goes to an 80% rate up instead. And also, she's waifu as fuck. And if there's any updates or corrections, I'll leave it in a pinned comment down below. If you have any questions, drop in the comments or join our community discord at discord.io slash ajanaltamra and I'll try to respond if I'm not busy. Subscribe so you don't miss future guides and videos and you found this video informative, drop a like, a dislike if you didn't. Finally, I can sleep. I might take a few weeks off from making videos since I've been drained after pushing these weekly guides and near and I gotta catch up on work and studies. 
but I'll be back before S Chrome rolls around. I might drop a Twitch stream here and there at twitch.tv spider2b, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and peace late.